and this woman pulls out handcuffs, right? And goes to cuff Drew's hand to the steering wheel. The hit 30. Looking at your social media recently, you went to see Justin Bieber's Purpose Tour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is he, do you look at him and go, wow, he's done the 10,000 hours and he's worked incre- incredibly hard. He's a bit of a, a guru at what he does. Do mm-hmm. so people like that inspire you or just not only in the world of dance or I do mean, you look to the world of pop? Everyone inspire. you know, you can find inspiration in everything. Justin especially, I mean, he's probably put in like 40,000 hours mm. of time. It's his whole life pretty Yeah, he can much. play the drums, yeah, he can play guitar, he can sing, he can dance. Uh, you know, we can't dance that well. You can't? And, uh... That's really yeah. surprising. <laughs> We're okay. Uh, but no, it was great. I mean, it's amazing to watch someone, you know, come make a comeback like this. Justin Bieber does f- with you guys because that yeah. concert when he rocked up was mm. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take Justin Bieber out of the equation. That was supposed to be like our biggest show of the tour. Okay. Uh, and then throw Justin Bieber into the equation and it's like, what the f- is going on? You know what I mean? And yeah. I remember we were like told he might show up, might not. We obviously want to like keep our you know, hedge our bets and say he wasn't going to show up and just have a great show. And then he just walks into like the green room and it's just like super cool. Uh, you know, like passes a b- to, I remember to me and I was like, God, I got to smoke this. Cause <laughs> it's just a B- <laughs> Apart from the Bieber experience, um, at your own show, what is the craziest experience you've had at a festival or in another show? So like, you know, when you finish a show, usually you have like a driver or a transport that brings you back mm-hmm. and forth to the hotel. Uh, you know, it's like a sign by the festival or whatever. So I remember we were like leaving this festival and we get into like, you know, it's just a car, some car, whatever. This, by the way, this is in Mexico. And, uh, <laughs> and th- it's like a girl, like a woman driving, right? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't look like the, you, you know, she's kind of like in rave gear and stuff. She's it's in usually rave like gear. a professional, like in a yeah. yellow security Suits shirt or, or something. something. Uh, and Drew is jets in the front seat because he gets car sick. And I like it, get in the back seat like I usually do. And this woman pulls out handcuffs, right? And goes to cuff Drew's hand to the steering wheel because like the, it was so bizarre. And she had like rope and everything. I was getting, like, arrested. Yeah, I thought we, I was getting arrested. Yeah, we, we like and we jump out. You know what I mean? Because we're like, I didn't what jump the? Out. Well, you couldn't have jumped out. Yeah, I jumped out. Sorry. Yeah, I jumped out and went and like. Luckily, there was like security there, and I was like, "Yo, you need to come here. And, like, how about Drew's getting kidnapped?" And it wasn't like a like a cartel thing. It was just like a crazy fan oh, that wow. was like trying oh, to kidnap Drew. And take make him a sex slave. That's mm. what I like to think. <laughs> yeah, That's how the story ends. Yeah. Huh? The hit thirty.